No, wait, wait, let that come this way. Yes? Yes, yes. 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 Very good. Uh, in 2015, I made so, some contact with the countries or nations which did election without census. What they advise is that you begin with registration of voters, 18 years or what, uh, what, what the law of the nation says. With us, it is said that registration must begin 18 years and above. We'll do that. With in, in, in our current situation, we are going to use the 2008 census. And then, uh, to give you more, there are some discussions which the political leaders will do. In the act, there are 332 seats. I wrote now to the Minister of uh, Justice to discuss this and then pass it to the Assembly. When we divide it, 50% geographical, 50% PR, that is professional uh, representation, 5% to be appointed by the elected president. When you, when, you, when you evaluate them, they don't come together. It needs a legal step to be done. So uh, registration will be the only method we will do from the... From the uh, Buma to Payam, then we go until to the state headquarters. Thank you. Yes, my dear lady. Uh, thank you, Chair. Um, I'm Abut Mange from SBC. Uh, we have seen that you have been given go ahead by the parties involved, and that's why you have been given the budget uh, for the preparation of the re election process. So, that is an indication that the country will conduct its election in December 2024. So can you tell us what type of election will be conducted coming in the Very good question. Types of election to be conducted. There are two issues now which are going around. The first issue, according to us as the technical people, and according to peace agreement, it is said that general election will be conducted. General election will be conducted within this period of December 24 to February 25. Now, uh, there are discussions going on in the political parties which are concerned about peace. They are now negotiating either to go for partial election or we go in for the general election. However, the decision they will take is where we will uh, be abide by it, then we follow it. But if you see now the voting process, which everybody knows, one day you can vote for the president, vote for the National Assembly, vote for the governors, vote for the state assembly. One day you can do these things. This will relieve the nation from the burden of conducting uh, other issues, time to come. However, it is not my, my, my decision as a chair, it is the decision of political leaders. Okay. Yes. My name is Charles Kepa, a reporter for number one citizen. I reported the argument uh, giving, allocating the period of time we're supposed to start to achieve. But still, again, the same argument is talking about at least three quarters of. Hold it like this, hold it like this, yes. Of the members yes. agree to go for elections, for example. Uh, at least five members should agree that we go for elections. For now, the SPLMIO is very clear. They are not ready, and then they say the ground is not ready for, for elections. And we still have uh, other organizations that have not registered because of the fee that they, they claim is high. 
So if the biggest percentage of these parties are, are not ready to go to elections, are you still going to declare elections? Why? Uh, I think you have also mentioned in some interviews, you have mentioned that we are going to use the previous constituencies. We are not yet clear which constituencies are, that, are those ones. Can we have time that you uh, educate the masses on how many constituencies that the South Sudan has and uh, how are the elections going to involve all these constituencies? Thank you so much. No. To go for elections, and there are parties which are saying that we are, we are not ready to go for the elections. Let me draw your attention, all of you, to the peace agreement. The peace, peace agreement says that when you remain two months, that is December 2024, to said that there are 332 seats. And I gave you the how they, how, how they are divided. There, is, there, there are some irregularities inside that. So I wrote to the Minister of Justice to consolidate this or pass it to the uh, Council of Ministers on its way to the Parliament, which they will resolve. Otherwise, we have also suggested in the, in the drama before that we can use uh, 2010 constituencies, which is 102 seats by that time. So the debate is going on. The decision would be taken by them, not by us. Yes? You can have... Um... Uh, can, can I give you another update? Yes. Uh, I'm sure everybody was asking the same questions, and now we know being the spokesperson, when we just finish this press conference, somebody will come outside there. To declare to you that uh, the amount that we have received, our finance team has just confirmed to us that they have received the money in the account. So how much is the money? We are waiting the detail yes, in a few minutes they will confirm to us because it's a process of getting the statement from the bank. Very good. Yes? Yes? Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, my name is Sebi William from Radio Miraya. Now, you did mention that the registration will start in June. That, uh, that means there will only be six months to the proposed general elections 2024. <coughs> Now, in six months' time, is the election commission, or will the election commission be able to conduct a free, fair, and transparent election since this is the first election being conducted in South Sudan as an independent country? Now, also, despite a lot of insecurity in most parts of the country, places that have witnessed, uh, you know, uh, revenge killings or counter raiding or, you know, tribal conflict going on in most parts of the country. How will you be able to conduct a voters registration, voters sensitization in these areas to, in six months' time? Thank you. Thank you very much for your uh, questions. What I would like to tell you is this. The issue of registration, and by the way, I don't want to be blamed later on, to be told, why did you not put this? You know, the peace agreement 2018 said the census, the constitution, and so on must be done before that time. All of us, we were, we were, we were seeing the time is going on. For me, as the chairperson, I said, no, let us make a hold that by June 2024, registration will take place. This is, heard, this is to be heard by all southerners. If, and then the law is with me, it says when it remains six months, registration must start. The issue of fair, free, is a very nice one. And you are the youth, many of you here are the youth. And it is your duty to explain to our masses, wherever they are, that the chance has come to us. That the power is returned 
to the citizens. If it is returned to the citizens, it must be done better than before. We want, we want to show to the world that we are matured enough, we are responsible enough, and we care for our own nation. And to do that is to register your name freely. Nobody will interfere with you. It is to come to the polling station freely. You vote for your candidate without intimidation or interruption. If we do that, my dear uh, youth, then we have saved the country. And I appeal to you right now that the, 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 the messages you are sending around, let them, con let them contain this. That Southern Sudan is being watched by the world. And if it is being watched by the world, we want to show to them that we are mature enough, we are responsible enough, we are capable enough to do our own issues. And I'm happy with the Yakan which I, whom I saw some minutes ago here. They were very good. This man talks facts. And if he talks facts, that is the actual role of the civil society. I was asked in 2010 to give a lecture about civil society. So I did the research and I presented it. A very old person, a senior man, congratulated me that this is good. Now it is the role of the civil society, the youth, the youth, the women organization, the population generally, to see it with that, a chance has been given to them. They must receive this chance and use it peacefully. Now, if we run our election peacefully, the world will know that Southern Sudan has the right to fight for their own independence, which they have done. If we vote, like what we did during the referendum in Yakani, this will be a very good soap to clean us, to confirm that we were ready to rule ourselves, to confirm to the world that we are capable to run our, na our own nation. And I believed with this standard you are in, you can be capable to spread to the people. Even those who are killing people on the road, insecurity, why should you fight? Time for fight has been already or has already gone. It is time now for you to practice your democratic right given to you by the law. I am here to implement the law. I am here to apply it in a very genuine, scientific manner. And by the way, if you come next, next Thursday, huh, you sneak into the, into the lecture hall in Yamajuba, you will see that this is not a cook of the election commission. Because that place, few students, and I'm given the right by the international law to say anything there. But here, what I will say is something I can be capable to do. Go to the uh, communities, register your name, wait for some months. When those months come, you go and cast your vote freely. And I pray always to the Lord. Lord, give me wisdom, give me strength to do this job, to fulfill it, to conclude it peacefully. Thank you. Just a follow up on uh, the question I asked earlier. Uh, well, you did mention the election commission, of course, is capable of conducting these elections in six months' time. Conducting elections is one thing, conducting free, fair, and transparent elections is a whole different thing. Is the commission able and will be willing to conduct a free, fair, and transparent election that will satisfy all South Sudanese that might not take the country back to war? Well, well, gentlemen, I think I have a feeling enough. What do we mean by free, fair, transparent, impartial, inclusive? It is application of the law. And to do this, you must register your name. Freely. Nobody should be deprived not to register her or his name by law. Two, when times come for voting, he or, or he or she is allowed to cast his vote secretly. And that's why I'm talking to you now. And it is your role as youth or as a media to propagate this. And furthermore, by the way, 
I appeal to you, and I have been doing this, that all of you should read the act. You should read the act. Why I said so? In 2015, when I declared the election, the speaker of the assembly wrote to me, Professor Ako come to the assembly and explain, why did you declare the election then? I went there. I said, my dear brother, who am I to declare the election? It is not me. It is the act, and here it is. I don't want that situation to happen again with us. Then I told now this is, has been done. Number two, when it remains 50 days, the president will dissolve all the assemblies and the government. Really? I said, yes. I said, go. I left the office. Some days later on, the extension and the extension until now. You know what is very important now? It's not my role alone. It is your role as Southern Sudanese. We have achieved, we have acquired our independence. Now we want to establish a system, a democratic system. How do we do that? To do that, we must respect the law of the nation. We must implement the law of the nation. And to do this, it's to register your name. When I went to well, uh, 2010, I got some generals there in a funeral place. One of them came and he spoke. He excited the, the mourners. He said that if you vote for unity, I'll go and fight for another 20 years. If you vote, if you fought, if you vote for separation, then you have made this man to be alive. I I was to close the occasion. When I spoke, they didn't they, they didn't pay attention. I told them, okay, now I am a lecturer. I will tell you some secret in the comprehensive peace agreement. It is said that if you register your name and you go to another station, then you have, you, have, you, have, you have vote for unity, you have reduced the number. You must register and remain there and cast your vote, then you are okay. They, they clap their uh, hands. What I need from you people of the press, and you can see now in my face, I am happy that God gave me the strength, that God lead me to do this national duty. And I'm proud of that man standing there. He will, he will, he will do what? Okay, yes. Can I? Uh, no, no, wait, somebody talk to you. Okay, thank you so much, Honorable Chair, uh, for giving me the second chance. I'm Charles Water from my radio. Uh, Honorable Chair, if I can quote you correctly, when you say you are here to tell us what you can do. And my question is, if you are given this 230 million US dollars that you budgeted for, how many days, how many weeks, how many years, or how many months will it take you in order to conduct the elections? Very good. Two. Yes. Share with us some of the challenges that's facing your institutions. We understand that uh, you know the political parties are yet to agree. Is it also one of the challenges facing your institutions? Can it be one of the challenges that can affect you know the the plan? Let us begin with the last question. Uh, the political struggle among the political parties is not my duty. The struggle they are doing is not my duty. My duty is guided by the National Election Commission Act, which says the National Election Commission is here to make a statement, sorry, the National Election Commission is mandated by the laws of South Sudan to conduct general election before the end of the transitional period in 22nd February 2025. This is authority now, guided by law. What can you do within this period? Hence, it is not me alone, it is all of us. We are seeing the time going, years going, and we are just keeping quiet. 
Now, we are left with a very uh, condemned spirit. To me, if we are serious, we'll do it. How? If all of us here can go to our constituencies and we register our names and we tell people that you go for registration, is it not possible? As I said before, the responsibility is ours own. Okay? Good. Any other ones? Yes, yes ladies. Let us give the... Yes. I think the issue of six million or what amount of money given to you, uh, given to us, I, I don't think that is the actual amount. He just gave, gave you an information a few minutes ago that is now being processed. We want to get the actual uh, uh, figure. But I thought you are educated people. You will know that this is a small amount released, released to start the work. The actual one is to be passed by the National Assembly. Then from there, that's where you will uh, uh, begin to know exactly what, what amount is there. Our interest is not the amount. Our interest is the commitment. The commitment that this is what we have done for the election to start. And if you remember what I said a few minutes ago, that when they pass the budget, they should be consistent. They should be consistent in delivering to us resources. Yes, any other question? Yes, lady. Huh? The last time, the last time I had an interview with you, you were confirmed that you are, you have not formed the bodies that will monitor the electoral procedures. What? Now that, now that you have the money, have you formed bodies that will monitor the electoral procedures? Well, I just said in my introduction before that uh, the little money which, has, which we have received is to be used for the visits to the 10 states and administrative areas to confirm two things, to see the infrastructure there, their offices there, and the number of people who are still there. Because some of them have died, some of them have gone away, and so on. So we are, uh, we are not very, we are not very late. We'll do our best. Yes? Okay, you, you are now trying to go into my technical uh, duties. <laughs> now, we have already planned that. And I did that in 2015. 2015, I thank God very much. I went to Bor, I went to Malakal, I went to Unity State. This time, another new team will go. There are more than four or five teams. Uh, no, 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 not four, three teams. The one for Equatoria, the one for Bahrazal, one for Apanai. They will go like that. In, 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 uh, in Unity State, our interest there is to go and see who are present there. What are their, where are their offices? 
We'll do that. No problem at all. Yes. I just said, I just said in my introduction that the Act has stated 332 seats. Now, these 332 seats, if you divide them, 50% geographical, 50% PR, 5% pointed by the President. They don't match. And we wrote to the Minister of Justice that there is something very complicated. We need law confirmation. They will discuss that. And we made our suggestion in the draft calendar we talked about a few minutes ago, that if it is difficult, let us repair to 2010 constituencies. And they are there. So it also need uh, a political decision. So people are following up these things. Yes? My, uh, you talked before, my brothers. Yes, yes. one more question. Please. Yes. Thank you so much. Uh, this is going to bump up to one. You are from which, you know? Uh, my name is Seri Bunyan from Red Muraya. Red Muraya. Muraya, do come as well. Huh? Muraya Radio. This is the spokesperson uh, of the commission. Thank you. You did mention earlier that you have received some money already. You have confirmed that the money has gone to the bank. Now, uh, I'm not going to ask you how much because you already said you still don't know, but I want to know uh, where is that money coming from? Who put that money there? Because the money is supposed to go to Parliament first, approved by Parliament, before the Commission actually receives this money. Now, the second question is to the chairperson. Uh, chairperson, sir, we have already witnessed and seen that some political parties here have started indirectly campaigning, you know, uh, current campaigns in Juba and other parts of the country. And this is supposed to be declared by the election commission that when political parties can now go to campaign and this is the calendar and this is the process and the dates and all that. What will you say about these parties who are already indirectly starting a campaign? Are they not already violating uh, the, the election commission's uh, rules in reference to us? Uh, many from where? I think there are two procedures. Procedure one is to get the money from the council of ministers who are mandated by law. And this money is very little. So uh, the council of ministers can release some funds to institutions which are in urgent need. So, if we wait for the parliament, time is going. And I said before, we have, we have left April and May, that we start in, uh, in, June, in June. Say that within this period, duties are made, functions are made relating to the election. To the campaign, those parties who are campaigning, the campaign has so many uh, stages. Anybody can now go and address a rally in a funeral place or in a marriage place, then he will say, we are ready for election. We can interfere with them. Because he is confirming to his constituents that he is ready to go for election. I have no quarrel with that. But we are to go with the law that the campaign will be officially open according to the law, and officially close. When people are going for polling, no more campaign. 
only to cast your vote. So we are very careful about that. And what is happening is not an open campaign. It is a guided one. It is a message to the, to the listeners. Like what uh, His Excellency Bakasuro said in, in this building one day during the civil society uh, conference. He said, I'm ready to go home. I'm ready to go home. That is his statement. I cannot interfere with them. So, uh, again, you go back and read that. Thank you very much. I think we have done much, Mishra. We should have talked more. Yes. Very good. Now, it indicated that this man did not read the act. If he read the act, he should have not asked me. The details are there in our calendar. In our calendar, when it is approved by uh, those who are uh, con concerned, it will be published for you. You will follow it immediately. A registration, a campaign, and then voting, counting, they are made in sequence. And this one will be disclosed to you. As I said before in my introduction, in another forum we will we'll, we'll come and do that. I think, I think, Mako uh, huh? Are you convinced? Okay. Okay. Now, my, 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 my last comment is this. We are going for election. If we are going for election, our media should be so consistent. Our media should be so concerned to use, to use proper, peaceful language. Our media, particularly now, should use culture of peace. Our media should promote culture of peace. Culture of peace is defined as the set of ideas, attitudes, behaviors, which reject violence, and they carry what? Dialogue. And under the culture of peace, there are eight domains. And one of the domains is democracy. Hence, the media should promote what? Democracy in our country. If you do that, you have helped your nation. You have helped yourself, not me. Our interest is to see to that our nation is stable. Our nation has changed, and I said this in my speech before the president, that it is a chance now for citizens to practice their own democratic rights according to the Constitution and according to the National Election Commission Act. Hence, it is, I really thank the you, the president, who came today to, to change these good ideas. May God bless you all. Amen.
Hej.